Does randomness increase or decrease the amount of impact of an act of kindness? The randomness increases it, because then you think it's not planned. So I think it would kind of um, make me suspicious, like wonder if there's an ulterior motive that I don't see. I feel like if something is random, then it makes it even more impactful just because it's kind of out of the blue, and it shows that people are always thinking of you, always caring, even if it's like no, there's no special occasion. Today, we are presenting a feature story about the small things, inspired by the additive impacts of small acts of kindness which people in our school and in the broader community experience in daily life. We especially aim to highlight the contrast between perspectives based on current quality of life and involvement in acts of giving. Around Redmond High School, we like to think that we do a good job of helping our community. National Honor Society, Leadership, and Animal Club are a few of the student groups which aim to improve the lives of RHS students and all of Redmond. Each morning in front of the school, leadership students give high fives to all students who walk into the doors with the goal of fostering a positive and inclusive mood. Why do you guys do these random acts of kindness such as opening doors in the morning and giving food to students during finals week? Uh, we think that it actually helps like the morale of the school and like how people are here during like just in general and especially the finals, the food in the finals, we know that it's a very stressful time, especially for freshmen who've never like done this before. It's like really important for us to make sure that they like are welcome, that they feel like they're okay. What are the responses to these actions? Personally, sometimes I think that like a lot of this a lot of times stuff like this doesn't like get noticed. Like, one of the things we do, like the food during finals, or this year it was like the keychains and the airheads and the candy. Like, at this point, we've gone, we talk about this in leadership, but at this point it's like, people tend to take this stuff for granted and they almost expect it out of us. When we just, when, when it started, it was just like a, oh, let's just do this for fun so we can be better for the people. How do their responses make you feel? We don't usually get bad responses from stuff that we just do like for the school community, so it's nice that way. But if we do get, we, there are a lot of times when we'll get like negative comments. There's always people that don't like what we're doing. They'll be like, oh, why did you get us a keychain? Why did you get this? So the, sometimes that's like, oh, okay, we were just trying to do something nice. But other than that, it's nice. Do you think doing these random acts of kindness are worth it? Yeah, I think it's definitely worth it. Like you see people when they like receive something or like they see like in middle school there was a there was a girl, she put like notes on every single person's locker and when you and no one knew until the day of. So when you walked in that day, you could tell everyone was just so much better and it would everyone was more excited to be there and it was nice to like see that. So I think it definitely is worth it. Within our school, we also interviewed non-leadership students to get their perspectives about random acts of kindness and their impact on the overall school and local atmosphere. Do you think smaller acts or larger gestures are more effective at improving the community over time? I think probably the small acts, um, but the small acts can't be um, staged because I, I think that's a lot of people like me that are very skeptical see the big events as just kind of almost big attention grabs like it's it's you you have this big event and then um, but really the small things the really day-to-day the -day things like I don't know holding someone's I mean yeah holding the door open for someone or like helping someone with with something small and maybe it maybe it takes a little time out of your day but those, those are kind of what I think more skeptical people would notice because there's not really much attention in them. And there's, you, you're not, people's view of you isn't increased if you, if you do those things because they're not as public. And so with those, with those big acts of kindness, it's like people will see those and go like, wow, that person's, that person's so great. And so even if the person isn't kind, that they can do those if they want the attention or things. But, but the little acts that nobody really sees are, I think, the most, they, they have the most impact for people like me because I see those and um, I know that it's really you wanting to do it for me or that you want me to uh, think better of you. Uh, it's, you're not just trying to get attention for like a, a large mass. 
over time, I think smaller acts are better because you can only control so much in a large act and you would need a lot a lot more people to kind of make a large act come true. But in a small act really only needs one person, so I think it's nice because you can like do more and keep doing more with small acts. After witnessing or receiving an act of kindness, have you ever been inspired to pass it on? Yeah, I think so. Like kindness is kind of commutative in that way, like it can go um, from one person to another and then it can just keep on going and be a chain reaction. Do you think acts of kindness impact the mood of the school? Um, I think in a way they do, like as long as people aren't being too cynical about it, I think it's definitely something that can make people at school feel a little bit happier and because if other people are happy generally you're going to be happier as well. Uh, definitely, they um, uh, because if someone does uh, something kind, people kind of see that and go like, "Oh, hey, that's cool." Uh, there are good people in the world. Like the and a lot of the times that um, uh, we see are kind of uh, the things we remember. Sadly, are the things that people do that are that are bad or or terrible because those are the ones that kind of grab our attention. Like if someone's, it, but it's it is it is pretty cool to see, and it improves my my mood at least. That, uh, like you see doing something kind of like, oh wow, that's cool. There's a perceptible uplift in the mood of the school when acts of kindness are performed, both large and small. Although the impact may not be physically noticeable, it can change the mood with which people go about their day and how they treat others in return. Although larger acts might garner more attention, they are often not as effective at impacting people. The spontaneity of smaller acts tends to convey a more caring vibe to the recipient. We also ask people how their responses of those they meet and those they know differ when they act kind to them. It's kind of like the difference between like uh, thanks written out fully, T-H-A-N-K-S versus T-H-X. <laughs> you know, it's like a lot less formal, it's a lot um, less like, cel like celebratory almost. It's like they, you know that they appreciate it and you, they know that you appreciate them. And that's kind of like the understanding that you already have with those people. I feel like it has a lot more impact on a random stranger because there's no reason for me to be kind to them. And uh, if there's someone that I know and I have like a good relationship with, it's like if I do like an act of kindness, it's like, oh, hey, they're, they're just being a good friend or um, uh, I don't know, something like that. But Definitely, I think it has more of an impact on strangers because it's totally unexpected. And that's something that humans really like, is things unexpected. Outside of Redmond High School, acts of kindness can exist as part of random encounters with strangers or as planned events by nonprofit organizations. One such organization is Open Kitchen, which serves free meals every Wednesday to anyone in need. We spoke to one of the coordinators, Kristen Muscott, to learn about the lesser known aspects of Redmond's community, particularly with regards to acts of kindness and how they are different when given or received by people of greater or lesser need. You asked me the question about how people give and if people give back here at Open Kitchen and it's really interesting to see how people give back how they can and sometimes it's in super small ways, but it's really meaningful to to them. So um, there's a woman who comes with her family, and a few years ago, or sorry, a, f a few months ago, um, at the end of dinner, she was sitting at a table picking lice out of her um, partner's hair, and we had to tell her, we can't do that here because we're serving food, sorry. And that was hard to do because we thought, well, maybe she'll take off and not come back again. Um, but she did. She came back with her family, and she's a regular. And uh, I actually even see her out in Redmond quite a lot over by the bus stop or even on the bus. And she came one day right up to me, and she was super excited. I was sitting down at the table, and she came right up here, and um, she said, I need to talk to you. And I said, what's up? And she said, do you take dona donations? And I said, well, we do. What are you thinking? And she grabbed a wad of cash out of her pocket and handed me this money. 
And I looked at her and I said, is that for us? She said, yeah, it's for you. And I said, are you sure? Yes, take it, it's yours. And of course, it was really touching because she's, she has no money, she's homeless, and it was $7. And she was so proud to give us that money. And um, it, it was a, a quick like, do I take the money? Do I not take the money? What do I do with this? And I somehow really quickly decided that it was really important to give her dignity and the giving. Um, another story, this same, this same family, but also some other families, they tend to stay until about 7, well, at about 7.05, they're just putting their, their dishes into the, the dish window. And I'm sure it's because they want the night to continue. And so they end up staying and helping. And they stack the chairs. And this little guy, probably four years old, he's out with this, the big sweeper broom. And he can barely control that long stick. And so one of our volunteers comes back behind him and pushes the stick with him. And they, they um, sweep up the floor together and peas and, you know, random gross food all over the floor. And, but this kid doesn't care. He just wants to help. Do you think randomness of acts of kindness increases or decreases the impact on the recipient? Well, I would say um, if you consider serving a meal, a weekly meal, an act of kindness, then I would say it's better that it's expected because our guests, they know, they can trust that every Wednesday they will come here and even if our oven is broken and our dishwasher is broken, they're still going to be fed. So for them, the, ex the expected random or the expected kindness um, is great. For me, because my life is really, you know, pretty easy comparatively, um, those random acts of kindness are <laughs> super cool. Um, I've had, I've found like Starbucks cards on my windshield with a note that said, uh, hope you have a great day. I have no idea. It was, it was at um, Grass Lawn Park a couple of years ago. What the heck? <laughs> it, was, it was really cool and so out of the blue. Um, and so after that, somebody did that to me. Then I went through a Starbucks and I, I bought the, the coffee for the person who was behind me because I thought, I gotta pay this forward, you know, because it's those little things that can make, kind of make somebody's day. Along the highway exit off Washington 520 West, there are often homeless people standing with signs, asking for donations, however small. Yet, as the cars line up, most drivers avoid eye contact with these beggars, or worse, look upon them with contempt and comment on how annoying it is to have people walk up close to your car and ask for money. One man holds a bouquet of a dozen red roses multiple days each week, asking for $3 per stem to make someone's day. Yet still, the size of his bouquet barely changes by midday. To people whose lives are difficult day in and day out, Receiving kindness that can be relied on can give them a sense of community and trust that outweighs the excitement and gratitude brought about by random acts of kindness. But for those of us who are fortunate enough to have stable living conditions and a caring network of friends, randomness of acts of kindness can be especially touching since they tend to seem more genuine and are unexpected. In this project, we have captured varied responses of community members, such as a co-organizer of Open Kitchen and a leadership student from our school, in regards to the impacts of small acts of kindness and randomness of acts of kindness. These interviews show that what seems like a small action to us can make a big difference in someone's day and the life of Redmond.